What's going on guys, X coming at you here today with a new video. This is going to be How to Anchor Episode 4. This obviously is going to be the last one of the series because it's the last map left. But starting off here, you're going to want, these are the preferred spawns that you want, and you're going to want to go top AC as an anchor. And you're going to want to hold top broken as someone's going to probably be there to try and kill you, and anybody rushing towards the mid part of the hill. You're going to want to hold this down for basically just the entire time because... People are going to continue to rush through and try and get spawns this way, and also to try and get into the hill. But if your team ever does need help, don't be, don't feel like afraid or like you shouldn't. If they're not pushing through middle that much and your team does need help, you can sort of come back here and help them a little bit. And just jump back here, maybe hold the wall run for a second. And even if you need like a lot of support in the hill, you can. There's spots like right here where you can watch mid from, where they can get across, but they won't be able to push the hill, and you'll probably kill them here but they can get across into spawn so you don't really want that to happen because going into the next hill you're gonna want to get these spawns back here right here these are the spawns that you want so typically what I like to do is there's an AC right here you can sit if you know that they're lab if you know someone's bottom lab just hold this right here and then also someone coming on flank one thing that I like to do straight off the rotation is a good spot is to jump right up here and you can see them if they're pushing from last and then just lay some shots down, get back down here, hold lab, and you can also, like I said, if they're not really pushing flank, push up here, help your team pour to potty, jumping front hill, and then turn around if you know they're back there. And then going into the rotation, it's middle hill, so spawns aren't like that important, it's just going to be a really contest heavy hill, but... I like to go over to broken. I like to push through and get the broken spawns just because the next uh, hill is there. And also, I feel like it's easier to hold the hill from this side. Where right here, you just hold middle, hold their back, and hold top AC. And then also, anybody coming over here. And then your sub, one sub, typically one or two, are in the hill and then watching that front door. <clears throat> and then you'll have people just around the hill slaying out. And you'll have just holding the back, the side, top AC, things like that. And then also, if anybody's trying to flank, you just get that kill right there. And really just hold this down. There are going to be people trying to jump up. Maybe sit like this with your RK5 or whatever pistol you decide to use. And just hold the hill. So this hill is really basic. It's just a really, uh, just a mid hill, you know, really contest heavy. And then if you want to go top AC, you can hold it from top AC. You want to go broken, you can hold it from broken. It doesn't really matter. But going into the next rotation, you're going to want to want these spawns back here. So what I like to do is a lot of people like to push through palace like that so right here is a good spot you can watch it lay some shots down and also you can help your team by holding bottom broken right here like this and then every so often just jump up check here hold bottom broken every so often just jump up check here hold this and then again if they're not really pushing flank that much you can push up here hold bottom broken hold top broken or push into the hill this has a lot of like really good lines of sight for an error this hill does like you could hold it just like this anybody walking in and then you have a sub holding drop down if you look up you can actually see the shadows so you can tell when someone's gonna drop down so it's very very easy to hold but again you could just hold it like this or to make sure you don't even have to worry about people dropping down is you could push up here and hold this hold the wall run like that so really uh, this is a really good hill for an AR because there's just a lot of sites you can play a lot of different places and then going in to the last hill you're going to want to rotate pretty early for this one, but it's in the laboratory, and you're going to want the same spawns as you did back here, but it's not really smart of you to, you know, just sit here, because you're not helping your team. They're going to be flooding from AC and flooding, like, everywhere. So, I mean, right here is a decent spot to go, but what I like to do is actually get in the hill and help my team. So, you know, you can sit right here, watch AC. That's a pretty good line of sight. Or right here, watch anybody running in the front. Typically, your two main like places that people are going to rush our front and AC so maybe you want to push up AC I don't typically do this but you can push up AC hold this like that and then if anybody does go on flank call that out rotate back come here just hold the flank and then but mostly like I said front and AC have someone holding this have someone holding that you can sit just back here in the corner holding the front anyone pushes AC then you can peek it pretty basic stuff and then off of this rotation you're just going to go right back the top AC and restart holding everything like you did before. So that's going to be it for the video today. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Hopefully this helps you anchor better for your teams. And if you did enjoy, make sure you leave a like down below. Leave a comment. Hit that subscribe button. Head on over to the channel to see any videos that you haven't already. Uh, like I said, guys, thank you so much for watching. It really means a lot. And I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Peace.